Details on a horrific crash in Strawberry Mansion section of Philadelphia that sent a vehicle off the road into a house back here. Just a stunning scene. It was all caught on camera. Wait to hear it. Action News reporter Catherine Scott has the latest. You can see some of the wreckage left behind. This was a high impact crash and police say one of the drivers ran away. You can hear the car before you see it. This surveillance video shows the red 2019 Dodge careening into multiple parked cars and an apartment building in Strawberry Mansion shortly before 10 p.m. Come outside, people scrambling, trying to help people get out the car. My car was hit, other vehicles was hit. My car is probably total. Couldn't nobody really move their car. They had to wait for Pico to come because the live wire and a pole was sitting on top of the car. <laughs> Police say the Dodge first hit a Subaru at the intersection of Ridge and Diamond. The Subaru taking out this traffic light, a 53-year-old woman behind the wheel with one passenger. Both were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries, as was a 36-year-old woman, a passenger in the Dodge. They was able to get one person out, got her on a step. The other two people, they got out. The ambulance came and took them. But the driver of this Dodge ran away, leaving behind his passenger and this wreckage, including a hole in this apartment building. Ellen I was called in overnight, determining the building unsafe at this time. They had to be emergency evacuated um, because it was so much damage, and they was more so concerned of the building falling with other residents in there that live on the upper floors. A traffic light knocked over, but still flashing green to yellow upon the pavement. Broken glass, car parts, a fire hydrant on its side. Lots of damage, but everyone survived. A whole lot of my neighbors' cars are all messed up. I'm glad we're nobody on the corner waiting for the bus over there. The investigation continues, as does the cleanup. In Strawberry Mansion, Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News.